Today, criminal hackers don't wear hoodies. I mean, they are uh, organized, it, it, they are part of criminal organizations, and it's, it's very much an industry. Well, I'm, I'm not a criminal. I studied cybersecurity at school. Obviously, I'm doing this also because I'm proud of my work. I'm proud of helping companies, helping organizations, NGOs, governments to secure their data because ultimately, I'm, I'm, I think I'm doing a service to the community. Yeah, hackers, we go where they can earn money. Be it a small company, a big company, it doesn't matter to them. Obviously, the bigger the better, but they, they will manage to find the size of your company and they will ask you to pay a ransom. So they tailor their, uh, their ransom to, to the size of your company. So basically, no one is safe. Bug bounty hunting specifically is a competition between ethical hackers. It means that multiple ethical hackers are looking at the same um, scope, the same application, the same network, and they are trying to be the first to identify vulnerabilities in that network. It is important to be the first one to report these vulnerabilities, so this is why, in a sense, it's a competition. It can be very, very easy to hack into a company, very easy. Uh, last time I was doing a bug bounty and in 15 minutes I, was, I had compromised the server. When you train to be competitive, then you get very quick at finding critical vulnerabilities. I mean, security auditing, it's, kinda, it's kind of a new job, meaning that 10 years ago I wouldn't have thought of this career path, to be honest. Uh, even though it already existed, but right now the, there are rising security needs and it has become very important to have uh, engineers specialized in offensive security. It's never too late, you can always prevent more damage being done. Uh, I mean, companies and governments, they have all these processes in place already, so it's fine-tuning, I would say, and finding the right staff, finding the right consultants, finding uh, the right cybersecurity companies to partner with with doing security audits and bug bounties and all this kind of stuff, you just reduce the risk. You, the, the, you cannot be 100% safe, it's not possible, because you never know what vulnerabilities will arise in the future, your infra IT infrastructure is ever moving, so it's not possible to be 100% safe. I would say that the goal would be to deter hackers from looking too closely at your network, and if they manage to breach in, the goal would be to detect them. Well, there is still a hope and I think it requires a change of mentality uh, and it's never too late because you can always do more and by acting now it will be possible to prevent attacks in the future.